Hey y'all, it's Jam from the Browser Company here. And I know if you're like me, one of the most intimidating parts of getting started in ARC is literally getting started. <laughs> there is so much that you've saved in your X browser that you need to bring over to ARC to be able to use it immediately. And today I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna head up to ARC, import from another browser. And then we'll have options to import from major browsers like Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and Edge. If there are any browsers that you're using that aren't listed here to import from, you can head to help, share feedback, and let us know which ones we need to support import from. Today, I'm gonna to use Safari in my demo. So I'm gonna select Safari, go to next. And the first option that I'll have is to bring over all of my bookmarks. This is where most of our lives are, I know. So uh, most folks might select to import all of them, but today I'm gonna to choose some and I'm gonna be a little bit selective. I don't wanna be a little too embarrassing on video. So I'm gonna bring over these. And then the next screen will show that we also support um, password import from Safari. So uh, given the process uh, requires a, a passwords file, uh, it'd be a little irresponsible for me to show this on video. Uh, you can follow along these instructions, uh, bring the file here into ARC, and it will work. I've done this prior to recording and I'll show you that it did in fact work in a moment. So I'm gonna hit maybe later here. So I'm gonna head over here to the sidebar. You'll see that my imports came through. Yay, all of my tabs, woo. Um, I am big into fashion. I love following different designers, looking at patterns and making things for myself. Um, the great thing about ARC as opposed to Safari, <laughs> is that I can now take these folders and I can create totally separate contexts for them in spaces. So what I recommend is turning this into a space and then it'll bring all of them over into their own sidebar, into their own context where I can really focus on them and enjoy all of the things that I saved. <laughs> um, it's up to you how you organize your sidebar, but that just works for me. I love separating the context out into their own sidebars like that. Um, one thing to note as well, uh, as I mentioned, I did go ahead and bring over all of my passwords. Uh, I will now show you that that does in fact work. <laughs> if I hit login on AO3, you'll notice that I'm all set to log in <laughs> and be able to read all the fan fiction that I want. <laughs> uh, also, these tabs will be available in my history and history will be accessible via command T. So I hit command T and I start typing archive of around. You'll notice that it is there. So import can also include extensions and it can also include cookies and form data. So if you're autofilling a form versus a login, that'll also work. I know that's a lot <laughs> and I know it's a lot to get started. So let's review everything that we can import and how it works. So when you're importing from an X browser, number one, you can bring over all of your bookmarks as tabs to get a quick start. I recommend thinking about folders as spaces if you like. Number two, you can use your autofill data instantly, which will include passwords and also can include addresses and other data. Find things quickly in history via command T. You can also find those report bug and share feedback options via command T as well. So if you'd like to quickly access that, let us know anything that goes wrong or anything that you'd like us to change, you can do that as well. And if you'd like to get in touch with me personally, I am always on Twitter at an anachronism and I love hearing from folks, so <laughs> please feel free. Uh, I hope you guys have fun browsing out there. Uh, let me know what your sidebar ends up looking like. Uh, drop some comments below. Um, feel free to reach out. We love hearing from everyone and we really love feedback. So hope you all have happy browsing out there. <laughs> Bye.